Well, hello, 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 world. Welcome back to another Talking Vertical podcast. Um, it's been a while. Um, as you probably guessed, like the reason we haven't been around is due to the fact that the world went a bit skew if. Um, as normal, this is going to be in a podcast audio format. We're also going to be recording this, popping it on YouTube. Today's podcast is going to be a little bit different. It's just me, Liam. Um, I'm going to try a new show. Um, it's not kind of like your normal news show. What we're going to do is we'll jump into just a couple of news stories. Um, I'm going to drop you a nice skill to learn. And then we're going to check out some awesome Instagram home wall builds. Um, I'll describe them as best as I can on the podcast, but if you want to see them, all the links for everything that we talk about today will be in the description. And if you're watching on YouTube, you'll get a much better experience because every time I talk about a news article, it's going to appear on screen, which sounds awesome. Cool. I, I'm just going to start. So the first sort of news show that I want to talk about is the effect of COVID-19 has had on the... Um, professional mountaineering series i'm reading an article on ukc which um is a report on the impact on the professional mountaineering scheme and one of their massive things that they're reporting is that there's going to be a 58.8 million loss due to the coronavirus um sort of between this period from now march all the way through to august now it is worth noting that this is a uk-based survey 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 um and they looked at across like basically the professional standards of mountaineering. So they worked with the British Mountaineering Association, Association of Mountain Guides, Mountain Training, and they produced this pretty cool article. Now, there's some other interesting stuff in this article. Um, I'm not going to go into how you can fix yourself and go back into that. Like there's loads of support for this, but just some really interesting figures that are coming out of this. Um, Generally, it's, they found that actually in 2018 and 19, we, as an industry, contributed 19, 19, 92.5 million pounds to the economy, which is pretty decent, like, fair play. I did not expect us to be this. Um, a business expense is going to be quite a big thing. So this is kind of like where people are refunding work expenses and stuff like that. Um, spent by us to communities is going to be at like 17 million, which is doesn't really just affect our community it's affecting everyone else um i guess which a lot of people might not realize is that a lot of climbing professionals are self-employed or limited companies and these are really people that are being affected massively by this coronavirus um i'm self-employed myself and you just like you have no work there um a lot of people due to the it's just, we're still a really young industry um or the way we're structuring as an industry, because we still don't really know, are going to be really missing out on the, the government income, um, which I think is really hard to know. Like, I'm waiting for a letter from HMRC to know whether I can be supported by them as a self-employed company. Um, if you guys want to know more about if you are self-employed, if you're a limited company, the support you can get, um, I'll leave the government links in the description. I'm not going to drop into that now, because I'm not an expert, and yeah, it's kind of... We don't need to... We don't need to jump into that. Um, I'll leave the article on there as well. Um, there's also a really interesting BBC News article on it um, about how overnight someone's work just disappeared. Um, I hadn't actually read the article until I found it at the bottom of here, but I have read this article before. This is another interesting article to read because um, it just kind of gives you more of a personal experience on what's going on. Um, even just give them a read, find out, and I'd love to know what you guys are doing as a climbing industry, it is worth noting that just because we've stopped delivering physical industry, I don't think you can necessarily need to stop um, creating and building your brand. Um, I'm, I'm not going to hold on about how you should be 100% creativity and productivity in these times because obviously it's hard. Um, but just... I implore you to think about how you can pivot as a brand and how you can really go, right, this is what we used to do. We used to deliver climbing coaching, but how can we do that? Um, if you check out like the Catalyst Climbing Instagram, um, Louis Parkinson, he's done a massive example of this where he's doing like live sessions. Um, it's going to be hard to jump on that band, but there might be something else you can do. Hey, look, we, we started a new show. Right, 
next piece of news. So the next piece of news is kind of looking at some fun light of this. We're just kind of look at like things that other people are doing are kind of the way I've pivoted. The news is that the No Man's Land announces their virtual film festival. So No Man's Land Film Festival is a pretty cool film festival um, where they share lots of films. I'm just trying to... I need to make sure I don't tell you about the wrong film festival. It's an international adventure film festival that empowers creatives and athletes in photography and film. It's pretty awesome. Now, this is obviously something they've done before, but what they're doing is they're making it virtual. Some of you guys might have seen the virtual... Banff Film Festival that was up online. This one's a little bit different um, because they're still having a film festival time. It's between the 9th and the 12th of April and it's pretty easy. Once you get your tickets online, you have five hours to play the festival on any of your devices. That's quite cool. Um, Just remember to have snacks because once your five hours starts, it's quite hard. Um, It's so virtual and so cool. They've got all of their 65 films being scrolled at screen, screw it, scrolled, screened over the four days. Um, yeah, it's quite cool. Um, they are having trivia about the films and giveaways on their Instagram, which is No Man's Land Film at No Man's Land Film Festival. And another pretty cool thing is that in this year's filming program, only for 44% of the films feature women. Um, of colour and all that sort of inclusivity and diversity in the outside, which is pretty cool because it's not something we see in the um, industry. There's loads of stuff like this happening virtually. Go out, find it. This was just one that we found on Climbing Daily. Not Climbing Daily, Climbing.com. Um, very different call. Um, but yeah, kind of a different nice spin on the news. Delightful. We're going to make this a really quick show to start with. If you guys want to know more news um, about stuff that's going on, saving you guys trawling the web like we've had to do this morning, give us a shout. The next thing we're going to talk about is a skill you can learn while you're not able to be climbing. So a lot of us have climbing gear. Um, a lot of people would say I've got all the gear and no idea. But how many of us actually know how to inspect um, our gear and know when to retire it? Now, again, this is not something we're going to go in via this show about how you can do it but there's an article again on climbing.com about how you can look at um expecting your gear knowing when it's functioning whether it's safe to use um it looks at your climbing rope your harness your carabiners belay devices all your cams your stoppers um pretty much everything like it gives you pretty in-depth stuff like on the climbing rope it's um suggests that you look at discoloration or scun failing um it looks at whether the core is, is, is knackered and tilts you all through that, visually inspections. The harness looks at the, again, looking at any critical points it's going. Um, carabiners is another one. Um, a belay device. I wonder how many of you guys out there check your belay devices. I, as a brand, have a responsibility to do that. Um, but how many people actually do that for their personal climbing career? So that is... Um, climbing.com how to inspect your climbing gear and when to retire it again guys the link for that will be in the description and if you're on youtube you'll have seen it come up on the screen so just to finish off we're going to jump over to some some awesome stuff that we've seen on instagram this week um with the sort of the wake of no climbing walls being open we've seen a massive jump up on the uh, sweet home walls um and the home walls people are building um the first one we're going to feature is by at the maintenance man uk this is a 20 degree wall in the back of his garden what we love about this board is it's just built in someone's back garden and it's just like oh no i can't climb super need to build so it's quite cool he designed it in a way that he can get boulder circuits there's a picture on the screen if you haven't done it guys check out him on instagram it's quite cool to see um the next wall that we want to show you guys is a wall by at chalky crack um sorry if i've read these wrong this wall again is another home wall kind of looks the same kind of steep setup i just love about this wall that's in someone's garage and you can kind of see in the picture that it's kind of become a gym space it's also really colorful and they've they've got a stencil and put a hashtag lockdown on the wall um that makes me that makes me nice that makes me happy cool um finally one more wall that's just a little bit different um is from a Instagrammer called at cliffers 86 this wall again is just built at home looks pretty cool um but what's different is it's made out of recycled panels and has old um school recycled panels on and these panels have features on i've not seen that on home wall like super cool idea 
and well, like it's already teen attitude you don't have to do any of that and um, i know some of these old panels are pretty hard to set on but that's super cool cool right um again those links for those will be in the description um if you're on youtube you'll have seen them as well um i implore you to watch this on youtube because you know um it's probably a better way of doing it um that's, that's a bit of coffee to finish thanks for listening watching listening and watching let me know what you think of this climbing new show guys and we'll see where we go oh i just got an email that was that was well timed a whole 10 minutes not a single sound for the mac that i forgot to mute peace out guys um i don't know why i say peace out later guys bye the talking vertical news show was brought to you by lks climbing hosted by liam killsby steel stay safe and train hard